Member of Parliament, dear guests, dear organizers and partners, thank you very much for inviting me to the inaugural of this Indian Photography Festival today. Renowned photographers are addressing many of the problems that plague the world today, the same problems that the US government is working very hard to solve. The festival is being organized at a very opportune time when many of us are engaged with these tough issues ranging from climate change to trafficking of women and girls. Issues of trafficking and gender-based violence are on the rise. Climate change issues were very much on Prime Minister Modi's agenda when he visited the US. President Obama often talks about climate change. For example, he recently said, we are the first generation to feel the impact of climate change, and yet we are the last generation that can do something about it. By the National Center for Environmental Information, reports that 2014 was the warmest year yet on record. A report published by the American Metropol Metrological Society states that the sea level continues to rise at a rate of 3.2 millimeter per year. And since eight of the 10 largest global cities in the world are situated along the coast, then any further climate change will severely affect millions and millions of people. The, the US government is committed to address issues related to climate change. We are thinking to remedy the situation through the use of non-conventional sources of energy. For instance, last month in California, the California State Assembly passed a landmark bill which aims to boost renewable energy and make buildings in the state twice as efficient as before. Through the California legislation, uh, California will ensure that by 2030, half of California's electricity consumption will be met by renewable energy. So the, the US consulate in Hyderabad is committed to supporting the campaign against climate change. Beside bringing you the Michael Robinson Chavez photograph, the driest season, which demonstrates how California has become a desert bowl, we are organizing a roundtable on weather issues and various workshops, such as a workshop with school children on climate change in this very gallery next week. In January 2016, we are organizing a model UN conference for college students in Hyderabad, focusing exclusively on climate change. In March, we will organize a global climate change conference here in Hyderabad to discuss the lessons learned from the Paris Climate Change Conference coming up in December. So the US government is committed to supporting various issues raised by this very exhibition. The US, for example, the US ambassador to India, uh, Mr. Richard Verma, recently said, um, when women move forward, they take the rest of society with them. In Syria, unfortunately, the opposite is happening. The fabric of society is being torn apart by the exodus of entire communities. The, the US is committed to helping the children, women, and men affected by the conflict. And the US remains the single, single largest donor of humanitarian aid in Syria, with an assistance totaling more than four billion dollars since March of 2011. Um, the US is also committed to stopping this modern form of slavery that we call trafficking of people. 
On average, about 700,000 people are trafficked across international borders every year. And women, oops, women and children comprise 80% of the victim. Trafficking is connected to a, a range of issues, uh, such as poverty, discrimination against women, corruption, and other uh, governance issues. The, the U.S. is closely working with various international partners to attack the causes of trafficking, to warn the potential victims and, and poor perpetrators behind bars. The U.S. Consulate in Hyderabad has organized several pro uh, programs which addresses the cause of women and prevents the trafficking of person. In December, we are launching the, tra the traveling caravan, which will be a bus uh, composed with about a dozen volunteers that will travel from Hyderabad uh, to Bhubaneswar, going through uh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and uh, Odisha during eight months, going uh, very slowly, village by village, uh, to spend time with the villagers and uh, warn uh, the young girls and women against the issue of trafficking. The uh, U.S. government is also deeply interested in empowering the youth. Um, the, the latest reports says that by 2020, India will be the world's uh, youngest country. The average age will drop to 27 years and 64% of Indians will be within the working age. So the, the, U, the US uh, Consulate General is supporting very actively the youth. For example, um, we are supporting a TEDx event next uh, Saturday, in, in two days, uh, called Unlocking South Asia Potential. This event will bring together thinkers and entrepreneurs from across South Asia to share the best practices from their own countries and discuss how the solutions are applicable to India. The US is also deeply engaged in building a very robust partnership with India. I mean, as you have seen with the recent travel of the Prime Minister, uh, the relationship has never been stronger. As uh, Secretary Key remarked, quote, the world is experiencing huge social, economic, and security challenges that the United States and India are uniquely positioned to address, but only together. Our two large democracies have already demonstrated an ability to work together to protect diversity in the face of sweeping social changes tackle regional change challenges old and new, and cooperate to increase the prosperity and security of our citizens." Unquote. So as India seeks to leverage its strength and address its weaknesses, the US will continue to play the role of a responsible strategic partner. We definitely welcome the emergence of India as a strong, responsible, productive, regional, and global power. Enjoy the exhibition. Thank you.